There may be no end. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa! Referee Rob Tuttle is down. And now Ryan Keller Thomas is at the mercy of Alexander Lee and Mike Martel. This isn't a wrestling match. This isn't a triple threat contest. This is a damn mugging. It is a mugging. And honestly, Montero's not doing much of the mugging. He's kind of just directing traffic in there. He needs to be careful because Alexander Lee could easily slip a pin for Wait a second. I know our president, Dean Livesley, is watching. That's going to cost him some money. I'm a giant jackass. There is no need to put a boot in the back of Rob Tuttle. And that double high five. Be Montero better be careful. You can't. Whoa. Wait a minute. It's St. Dick Lane coming out here. It's a lot of head in tow. Now it's a St. Dick Lane firing away. I hated carrying around Curry Boy's head. I'm not sure why, but um, okay. Meanwhile, Dick Lane taking control. Rob Tuttle's still out. He hasn't seen anything happen Wait yet. Wait a minute. Oh, here, here comes, comes Detox. Detox. Jason Devine and Rick Materos hit the ring and cut off at St. Dick Lane. All hell's broken loose, Atley. And Rob Tuttle, referee Rob Tuttle, is down and out. Here come the Little Giants. Rob Arujo and Bullet Joe hit the ring. Rob Arujo still wants at detox in the worst way after he feels they screwed him over in the big city rumble. And now it's just a pier six brawl. All eight men going at it. Oh, here comes oh, Jake. No. The complexion of this match, just oh, whatever the hell this is, just this changed. Fight. Jay Cash has hit the ring with that orange sucker. Kevin right. Castro. Here goes Lumberjake. Lumberjake's here. Lumberjake into like a house of fire. The referees are coming out to drag the carcass of Rob Tuttle out of the ring. I'm not sure Tuttle threw the match out. Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Ricky! Hey, this is not going to end right here like this. This right here is a 10 man tag match, and it's starting right now. I don't care. That's all I can. Dean the Beast laying down the law. He's just made this a 10-man tag team match. Who's Thomas, Bumper Jake, Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like it will be the Detox. Mike Montero, Shea Cash, and Alexander Lee against the team of the Little Giants, Kellen Thomas, Dick Lane, and Lumber Jake. Wow. Lucky here on Friday the 13th with the impromptu 10 man tag here in Dedham, Massachusetts. You could almost call this an all star match. Oh, without a doubt, Davis. Ring the bell. Hey, I'll see you later. Oh. The team of Detox, Montero, Lee, and Shady Shay Cash have opted not to compete in this contest. I don't know if the president, Dean Limsley, is going to take too kindly to this. Let's Certainly go. not. He's still got the mic in his hand. I'm sure he's got something to say. I mean, I'm sure he's going to find Montero for stomping on referee Rob Tuttle. I think he's going to throw out a bunch of fines here. He's giant. Dean is calling for the bell. This match is underway. Referee Ray Rocher administering a 10 count. Well, not for nothing, but you got to get one man in the ring for the team led here by Lumberjake. If they purposely get counted out, this is not going to bode well for the pocketbook. It's counted Spanish. 
Referee up to seven, and here we go! Davis, I think Red, referee Red Roche, should just let this match go. Should just let them fight it out. Whoever wins, wins. Oh, sometimes there's just no way or no reason to form any order here. It, it's almost impossible to call the action here. Alexander Lee comes out by us here. And the team of Lumberjay, Kellen Thomas, Dick Lane, and the Little Giants reign supreme. Whoa! Dick Lane with a crossbody off the apron. Kellen Thomas with the same takes them all out. Uh oh. What are the giant little giants got set up here? Oh, Lumberjay said, "Wait." Lumberjay calling an audible here. Whoa! Again, I know it's a referee's job, Davis, to maintain order, but I think referee Rimmel Chase should let this go. And whatever happens, happens. What is Lumberjake thinking right now? Oh my God. Oh boy. He's feeling froggy. He's feeling froggy. Watch out in the front row. Here he comes. Oh, the Nest T plunge takes them all out. Lumberjake's version of aerial combat reigns supreme here at Friday the 13th. And, and Delilah is fanning she just Kellen Thomas with Curry Boy's head. She told me that's her dog. Uh, she misses Curry Boy. Oh, I understand that, but there's no reason to carry around his head. Alexander Lee and Rob DeJohnny Rougeau are in the ring. Rougeau with the side headlock. Oh, shoulder block. Wow, Alexander Lee, I tried to say. He jumped right into that shoulder block. Backs him right into the corner. Tag in the bullet Joe. Ooh, that'll give you a negative attitude. Right hands by bullet. Oh, and he ran right into He's an uppercut. <laughs> Look at the tenacity of Bullet Joe. One count only. Alexander Lee dragging Bullet Joe into his corner. That is not where you want to be in a 10-man tag. In comes the New England champion, Mike Montero. And Davis, you're gonna wonder if you're Mike Montero, if he feels kind of robbed about taking the back seat right now to the heavyweight championship that everybody's talking about for the Ring of Thrones. Well, I wouldn't think he's he's being taken a back seat. I think he's actually considering entering the Ring of Thrones tournament. That would be quite the sight if Mike Montero entered the Ring of Thrones tournament. What? Kevin Castro is asking where the waitress is. Right now, Bullet Joe firing away at the New England champion. Mike Montero, though, catches him. Bullet Joe oh. with a flying knee that puts Montero on Dream Street. But Montero follows up with a lethal knee of his own. Lateral press hooks the leg. Here comes the heavy hitter. Oh! Two count out. I mean, Ali, this is almost like mass chaos right now. We're not sure what to call. Shea Cash just stepping on Bullet Joe on that small fan, putting all that weight 
onto him. Oh. Shea holding up Bullet oh, Joe no. with one hand. Oh! He was trying to put Bullet Joe through the ring with that body slam. I'm surprised that he didn't. Now he's got him by the hair. Come on, ref. Anyone that says the body slam doesn't hurt will think twice after seeing that. Ricky Madero's now in. Ricky Madero's one of the bright young stars here in NCW. Probably throws the best drop kick I've seen. He's definitely the aerial assassin of detox. Bullet Joe trying to fight out of it. Oh, he hits a jawbreaker, beauty. Oh, there's that drop kick I was talking about earlier. Hooks, hooks the inside leg. Didn't have enough body weight on the sternum. Jack made. The vibe. Jason Devine was outside here earlier shaking his knee. But it looks like he's recovered quite nicely. Oh. Knife edge chops. Wait a minute, Bullet Joe oh. reverses him. I think I just woke up Joe. High faces him down. Bullet Joe trying to summon Ketsu Kabashi with those chops in the corner. But Jason Devine now just bullying Bullet Joe. Picks him up now. Oh, big forearm. Ducks the clothesline. Up and over. Oh, beautiful DDT. That is exactly what Bullet Joe needed. Now he needs to find his way to his corner and make the tag. Exactly. I mean, he's been trapped in the wrong part of town for a better part of five minutes. Tag it to Ricky Medeiros, and tag it to Robert Ruggio. Oh! Seated sent on off the top. Close line to Medeiros. Close line to Montero. Robert Ruggio taking out the ace. Ricky Medeiros and Jason Devine. Swing and a miss. Beautiful side suplex by Robbie. Mike Montero waited for it, called his shot. Now he has Robert Ruggio right where he wants him. Like double Irish whip onto Robert Ruggio. Rob Ducks. No. Double choke slam? I think he was going for a double pop up power ball. Wait a minute. Jason Devine is playing boss about here. Oh, very smart move by Devine. Pulls Montero out of the way. Ricky Medeiros capitalizes. And, and that's the advantage, one, two. And that's the advantage the red corner has, Davis Wright. They have Montero, Ricky Medeiros, and Jason Devine. They know how to work with each other very well. You can't say the same thing for Shay Cash and Alexander Lee. You can't say the same thing for Lumberjay, Kellen Thomas, or Dick Lane. Very true, three working parts working together much better than two across the ring with just the little giants typically teaming together. It's gonna take a lot to put down Rob the Giant Arujo for a three count, but Shea Cash has no problem administering the punishment required to keep Rob Arujo down for the one, two, three. Yeah. And it seems like the team led by Montero have been focusing their attack on the Little Giants. Maybe they think they're the most vulnerable. I don't know. Oh, he just spat. Oh, what a disgusting act. Shea Cash just spat at Lumberjake and Kellen Thomas. Ricky Medeiros putting the work in and now makes the tag to Alexander Lee. And right now, this is worst case scenario for Robert Ruggio. Certainly is. Oh, drags him out of the corner the hard way. Looks the leg. Alexander Lee looks to have a uh, reverse chin lock now into uh, 
almost a neck vice. Now he's just trying to create as much pain. Kevin Castro once again telling us to ring the bell. That order can only come from the referee. Thankfully. When you're in the world of Hurt Davis, the last man you want in the ring putting that beating on you is Alexander Lee. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, Alexander Lee is one of the toughest men in NCW. Now, Jason Devon makes his way back in, just stopping Robert Rougeau at will. I'd say that knee is okay, Ellie. Oh, absolutely. Probably just got dinged up in that Downey Brook that happened earlier on tonight. But now it looks like Jason Devine is 100%. Rich Medeiros now tagged in. Beautiful tag team wrestling. Ricky Medeiros. What's going to happen here? Oh! Like smart him. move by Montero. You may not like him, but he's definitely Whoa. smart. Robbie proved to be a little bit smarter there. Fireman's carry on Divine. Death Valley driver. Very good move by Robert Rougeau. It's exactly what he needed, but he may have nothing left after delivering that move. You say that, but... I have to bring up the tenacity he showed in the Big City Rumble. He drew number three, and that was after a match that he took quite a beating. Alexander Lee makes the tag, and so does Ryan Kellen Thomas. German suplex one, two. Ryan Kellen Thomas has a date with one half the Lucha Brothers, Ray Phoenix in his future, but right now he has taken it to Alexander Lee. Here at Dedham, Massachusetts. I'm taking that belt. This was part of the match we were originally going to see. Alexander Lee with that headbutt just stops Kelly Thomas on his tracks. Oh. One, two. Bullet Joe tried to break up the pin there, but Kelly Thomas was able to kick out on his own. Yes, he did. He did tag the foot he did of tag Alexander the foot. Lee. You know, Alexander Lee must be pretty happy right now. It's no longer a title match. Therefore, he still is going to be the only Triple Crown winner here in NCW. You're absolutely right. The New England title no longer on the line here. I'm going to tell you right now, Davis, Materials for Thomas and a singles bout is something I would love to see someday. Oh, beautiful senton. Kick out by Thomas. Now goes Lumberjake into the ring. And now it's just a mugging in the corner. You know, the red corner has had this advantage all night. First it hits a bullet, shell it into Robert Rougeau. Now they have Ryan Kellen Thomas trapped in the corner and at their will. You know what, the rate this is going, Davis, the only two fresh opponents left may be Lumberjake and St. Dick Lane. And Lumberjake has already wrestled a couple of times tonight. Oh, absolutely. Very smart wrestling by the red corner, helmed by the New England champion, Mike Montero, as he tags in to Ricky Medeiros. No, he's got the rope, he's got the rope. Good ring awareness by Kellen Thomas, able to grab the rope. Kellen Thomas is such a pro inside the squared circle. Knows where he is at all times. Hammer away at Ricky Medeiros, trying to create some distance in order to make that tag, but Medeiros fires back with the right hand of his own. Whoa! What a move by Riot Kellen Thomas. Laid Medeiros out flat. We've seen this from the blue corner before though, Davis. If even if he can make the tag, can they follow up? Right, Kellen Thomas, all he's gotta do is sit up and he can make a tag and he does the insane dick lane. A fresh insane dick lane. And this is a guy 
guy that can match Mike Marteau, move for move, hold for hold. Positively. What a move into a backbreaker, oh my goodness. That is the backcracker if I've ever seen one. Oh, double super kick by Detox and Insane Dick That's what I'm talking about. The blue corner makes a tag, but then the red corner, but right now the little Giants are running in. Starting to break down, Red Roche starting to lose control. I was surprised he maintained control for this long. Double spear by the Little Giants. Montero slow to get to his feet, but so is the same to claim. Detox and the Little Giants brawling out in the crowd as Insane Dick Lane picks him up in a fireman's carry. And Alexander Lee puts a stop to that. McKellen Thomas is back in now, hammering away on Alexander Lee. I've lost all track, Alley. Who's the legal man? I believe it's Insane Dick Lane and Mike Montero, if I'm not mistaken. Kellen Thomas with an unorthodox plancha in between the ropes does the trick, takes out Alexander Lee. But now the two legal men in the center of the ring battling it out, Davis. We're down to a, almost a regular tag match now. Here comes Shake Cash. Oh my goodness. No tag made there. Come on, Red. Just clubs the same dick lane with that brutal close. Wait a minute, Lumberjake. Oh! Levels Shea Cash with a close out of his own. Red, my friend, at this point, let him fight. Let them fight. Let him go. Dick Lane. Dick Lane doubted it out in the ring, but wait a minute. Mike Montero and Dick Lane are still the legal men. That's true. And Mike Montero's going to the high rent district, trying to set up for perhaps the Meteora. Rolls through it. Double knees. Wait a minute. Looks the cravat, walks on the ropes. Takes him down hard. Could we see perhaps the power of the force? Montero blocks it. Oh! Dick Lane might be out cold. Oh! Reverses! What a reversal by Mike Montero. Oh, he couldn't reverse that one! One, two, three! We got him! Insane Dick Lane just pinned the NCW New England champion, Mike Martell. Let me repeat that. Insane Dick Lane just pinned the NCW New England champion. Wow!